Okay, American contractor here. Um, There's a news report from the Washington Post. The U.S. and Iran are aligned in Iraq against the Islamic State for now. This goes back to what I was talking about a few days ago, maybe actually maybe a few months ago when I told you that the problem right now is the Islamic State in Iraq. You know, the Daesh, the Islamic State uh, in Iraq and the Levant, ISIS, whatever you want to call them, terrorists, murderers, criminals, demons. That's the biggest problem right now in Iraq. Now, Iran, they're also, they don't like the uh, ISIS, the Daesh also. So they're going to portray in the media that they're, uh, you know, wanting to fight them and all. But, uh, you know, this that's a walk in a tight, delicate uh, line there because they want to see that they're allies with the United States. Remember, therefore, al-Assad, Bashar al-Assad in Syria, and they're backing him while the United States wants him toppled. I told you that the uh, the biggest problem, the second biggest problem that the Iraq government has is that the Shia militias and all the militias running around that are armed, they're more well armed than the Iraqi army. That's the second biggest problem that they're going to have. So when ISIS goes away, when they get defeated, which they will be defeated, I can't tell you which month and what year they will be, but they will be defeated in the future. Then the next problem for the Iraqi government is all these Shia militias that are roaming around the country um, with no oversight, no legal framework. I mean, nothing, just roaming around committing, you know, they're committing war crimes and uh, murders themselves and torturing people and all that stuff. Uh, There's a Shia cleric here from Iran, Iran cleric with close ties to Tehran leadership. Uh, says there's about a thousand military advisors, but I just showed you on another video that there's over 7,000 uh, advisors, Iranian advisors, uh, Quds Force, under the Major General Salamani, Qasem Salamani uh, command. So they are in Iraq. And let me show you this one quote here. Uh, ISIS will be defeated. This is by Kaderi. Kaderi was a. Uh, was an advisor to all the uh, generals and the ambassadors for the last, uh, you know, throughout the whole, almost throughout the whole Iraq war. He says, Kaderi says, ISIS will be defeated. Uh, the problem is that afterwards, there'll still be a dozen militias hardened by decades of battle experience, funded by Iraqi oil and commanded or at least strongly influenced by the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, and they'll be the last ones standing. So after the, you know, the ISIS is com is defeated, then you have the Shia militias who are Iranians, who are other Shia militias who are controlled by other clerics and be inside Iraq. And you know how it's going to go. I mean, it's just one bad guys for another. And uh, Qasem Soleimani, here's what the Quds Force Command has been the face of Iran's operations in Iraq with photos of the command on the front lines circling on social media. And I showed you some of those videos and some of those uh, pictures. Uh, Jeffrey James Jeffries, of well, also used to be a former ambassador in, in Iraq. Uh, Mission may have made a mistake by not conducting limited airstrikes at the Islamic State's initial advance. And I told you that back in June. We should start bombing them back then, but uh, it's too late now, and we let things progress to uh, where they're at now, and it's unfortunate. But the Washington Post has got it right uh, today. Um, the U.S. and Iran are aligned in Iraq against the Islam Islamic State. Uh, you know, just for now. Until uh, the landscape, the scenery changes. This is American Contract. Appreciate you watching my YouTube channel and uh, subscribe to the channel. You can send me an email to ac at americancontractor.com and uh, like to hear from you what your feedback is, and uh, or you can just make comments in the YouTube channel. I'll leave the link below for this uh, website for the Washington Post.